Okay. So I'm going to do RSI calculations, talk about easy drug dosages. Um, you'll see I posted another one up there I'll probably remove. Um, so, because this one I think should work better. So, I um, want to work with Atomidate first as an option here, and I want to show you some easy calculation type dosages. Um, so, remember that the dose for RSI is 0.3 milligrams per kilogram. Now, the concentration is consistent of Atomidate, no matter what it is, Animidate, any of those, the concentration is always the same, and the concentration is 2 milligrams per mil. So, when we're doing this, I'm going to do the long calculations, and I'm going to show you some really easy ones to go to, so you can get that rapid fire. So let's start off with a 60 kilogram patient. We're going to multiply that by 0 0.3 milligrams per kilogram. And the simple way to be doing this is basically we're going to get rid of the zeros. So we're going to move the decimal points over. And if you cross out the zeros, it equals the same. So you can do this math and make sure it works for you. But this is basically going to equal 18 milligrams. Now again, our concentration is over here at 2 milligrams per mil. So if we want to see how many mils we get, we're going to multiply by this. In one mil, there are 2 milligrams, or we're dividing by 2. Milligrams cancel out, and we're equal to 9 mils. Okay, so there's the long calculation. Same calculation faster. <clears throat> we take that same 6 kilogram patient, 6 times 3 divided by 2. 18 divided by 2 equals 9 mils. So pretty simple calculation. Here's another thing that I'm going to go even simpler on this. If you take that same 60 kilogram patient, 6 times 1.5 that is also going to be your concentration of Atomidate for the math works. So 6 times 1.5 or 6 plus half of itself, whatever it is, both are equal to 9 mils. So you can choose which calculation you like to do, but there's four ways to calculate very quickly. So, using these same calculations, I can tell you if I had, instead of a 60, a 70 kilogram patient, and I'm going to do calculation number 4, I'm going to drop the 0, and I'm going to go 7 plus half itself is 3.5, so 7 plus 3.5 is 10.5 mils, okay? Let's go 7 times 1.5. 7 times 5 is 35. Put a 3 up top. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 3 is 10.5. Let's put it in here. 7 times 3 is 21 divided by 2, 10.5. And 70 times 0.3 is 21 milligrams divided by 2. 10.5. So see how simple this is? This is a great equation. Again, it's the weight plus half of itself. So whatever the weight is, so let's say it was 8, it'd be plus half of itself. So that's going to be equal to uh, excuse me, 12 mils. Very simple. 8 times 1.5, 8 times 5 is 40, that's a 0. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12 mils. So real simple calculations here with this. So, um, that's kind of what I wanted to show you.
what um, we can do with Atomidate. So real simple calculations, and you can fit any weights into here. Um, you put 40 into this, 4 plus half itself is 2, 6 mils. You put a 100 kilogram patient, 10 plus half itself is 5, 15 mils. That fast, that's how many mils you're drawing up. All right. Let's go to succinyl colonase. So if we go succinyl colonase, I want you to know 1.5 milligrams per kilogram is our dose. Okay, so for here, here is our concentration. So our concentration again is 20 milligrams per every milliliter. So a little different setup on here. But now when we're doing a calculation, and I'm gonna use our 60 pound as a um, area again, there's multiple ways to do the calculations. So first route, you can take your 60 kilogram patient, you're gonna multiply it by 1.5 milligrams per kilogram. And so six times 1.5 is going to be, six times five is 30, plus six times one is six, plus the three over top, 90 milligrams. We're gonna multiply this by one mil to get our mils over 20 milligrams. Well, the zeros cancel out. Two goes into 90, 4.5, so it's 4.5 mils. That's what you're drawing up for this patient. Another easy way you can go from here, second calculation. Again, I can take my 60 plus half of itself, because it's times 1.5, is equal to 90 milligrams divided by 20 equals 4.5 mils. Even a more simple, I can take the weight in kilograms, so my 60 kilogram patient, drop the tenth, six plus half itself is equal to nine divided by two, 4.5 mils. So, um, this is very similar to Atomidate, right? So, let's take our same Atomidate patient, very similar with this. If we go back a screen, we're dealing with six times three is nine mils, or basically for a 60 kilogram patient, you're doing nine mils, right? So. However, milligrams of sucks you're drawing up, you're dividing in half. So whatever your sucks dose is, double that, and that is your Atomidate dose. Whatever your Atomidate dose is, half that, and that's your sucks dose. Pretty simple. So let's do this with a 70 kilogram patient. And again, if we're doing 70 times 1.5, that's gonna equal 10.5. So it would be 10.5 or 105 milligrams divided by 20. 20 goes in 5.25 mils. So 5.25 milliliters. So let's do our sample down here and do our easy math. Let's go seven plus half itself, which is 3.5 is equal to 10.5 divided by two 5.25 mils. So it's 10.5 mils for this 70 kilogram patient of Atomidate, 5.25 mils of succinyl colonase. Really simple here. Um, again, you find out the, remember sucks is more powerful than Atomidate because it's a paralytic, so you use half as much. When we have VEC, again, our concentration for VEC is 10 milligrams, and we have one milligram per mil. 
So this also has to be reconstituted. So you need to add 10 milliliters of normal saline into this powder and you'll get 10 mils. The concentration there is one milligram per every mil. So real simple with both VEC and ROC I'm going to show you the calculation. Let's take that same 60 kilogram patient. So the dosage of VEC is 0 0.08 to 0 0.1 milligram per kilogram. So let's use our 0 0.1. So we have our 60 kilogram patient times 0 0.1 milligrams per kilogram. So 60 times 0 0.1 is 6 milligrams and we multiply that by concentration which every one mil there is one milligram so that's equal to six mils so very simply anytime we're dealing with VEC you take the weight in kilograms drop the zero so our second way is take 60 kilograms drop the zero six mils 70 kilograms, drop the zero, seven mils. For those of you who like to handicap yourself, 74 kilogram patient, 7.4 mils. Very simple. So that's concentration for VEC. Lastly, we'll touch on rock uranium. And again, our dose for rock uranium is 0.6 milligrams per kilogram up to 1.2 milligrams per kilogram. Concentration for adults majority time is one milligram per kilogram. And that's what we'll use for our adult population. So you can see rock uranium comes in multiple concentrations. <clears throat> it also comes in a uh, this is a 5 mil, 50 milligrams per 5 mil. 100 milligrams per 10 mil, the concentration is the same. 10 milligrams per mil. So this is a 5 milligram dose. This is a 10 or 5 milliliter bottle. This is a 10 milliliter bottle. So either way, the concentration is there is 10 milligrams per every mil. So the simple concentration. So let's again use our 60 kilogram patient and let's do a dose here. So we've got our 60 kilogram times one milligram per kilogram and it equals 60 milligrams. Now we wanna see how many mils of this we're gonna draw up. So we're gonna multiply that by in every mil there are 10 milligrams so the zeros cross out six mils so our simple math is we're going to take our 60 kilograms drops to zero and that's how many mils we're going to draw 70 seven mils and again for those handicappers seven point or 74 kilograms equals 7.4 mils Skip that zero there. 74. Let's go 92, 9.2 mils. So very simple calculations. Go back and review these. Again, you should be able to spot your numbers very, very fast on there. Um, and probably the easiest ones to do is your suck and atomidate because those ones will be carrying very simple. Remember, if I'm doing uh, atomidate, I'm doing nine plus half itself, which is 4.5, which is equal to 13.5. So if I have 13.5 mils of atomidate, how much succinyl colonase would I use? I would use half. So 13.5 
of atomidate. So my sux dose would be half of this, which half of this is going to be 6.75. And those are in milliliters. And this is for a 90 kilogram patient. Hope this helps. Uh, if it doesn't, go back to using your calculations. Decide which one works for you.